Thousands of people in our area rely on public transportation, but budget shortfalls in Pinellas County could leave hundreds of riders stranded. Emerald Morrow breaks down the impact these cuts could have on our community. As a contract engineer, Nicholas Vidalis is a very busy man, but getting to his job is not easy. I'm wasting a lot of time just riding on the bus. I usually have to walk like an extra mile and a half in the morning and in the afternoon. That commute could soon get worse. He transfers to a bus route that could soon be axed. It's one of three routes that could be cut and three others that could be changed this June, leaving hundreds of people like himself stranded. It's yeah, not bad in the wintertime, but in the summertime, in the heat, it's terrible. How frustrating is that for you? Well, it is quite frustrating. I mean, it used to be, I used to be able to just jump, you know, walk down my street, jump on the bus, and I'm there. The Pinellas Sun Coast Transit Authority is mostly funded through taxes, but shortfalls mean the agency could be forced to cut $800,000 from its budget. This includes routes in northern Pinellas and eastern St. Petersburg, like the 58 bus that runs from Seminole to the busy Carillon area. A lot of people who are trying to get to work, get to their jobs, uh, obviously commuting for groceries, to run errands. It's going to affect roughly around a thousand of our riders who really rely on our bus transportation system in order to live a normal life and get to where they need to go. Now there are some potential solutions including a possible gas tax, reallocating some of the bed tax or raising the property tax, but none of those is a solid option, at least not yet. Riders who rely on the service are hoping that their routes can hang in there for just a little while longer.